Hello everyone. Can you hear me? Is my mic working? Let's see if I can bring it up. Let's see if I can bring it up. Kilburn's creation. How are you doing? Cool. You can hear me. Okay. So let's wait a couple minutes and see if anybody else comes in. Um, so what's up out there in YouTube world? Thing happening okay so tonight I thought I would show people how I do I've learned a lot since I started soldering so my husband bought me a new Weller soldering iron just surfing channels <laughs> Well, he bought me a new soldering iron, and I got a little bit better at it. My old one was a piece of crap. It was used. I bought it used from somebody. I can't remember. But I wanted to see how it worked with doing a round. I wanted to do one of the round. These are little round... Um, glass pieces if you can see them yeah there you go so I need to clean them off first so I need to get my this is Windex on here so it takes all the fingerprints off I didn't post in Patty's group that I was going live I forgot so there's that. Let's dry them off a little. And then what I want to use is my little, um, I want to do a postmark and this. So I need a piece of black paper to go in behind so this is just a piece I punched out of this paper here so it will so I can put this in here and you can see the rest this is what I'm putting in there you can see it whoops wrong way it's backwards isn't it huh Anyway, and this is the postmark that I'm going to use. I got to quit doing that. So, what I'm going to do is just take a tiny bit of glue here, put it on there. Put it on the back of this. Oh, where's my... Um, tape. Don't see my tape. Yeah, you... No, I didn't cut my own glass. Um, I got this from Fire Mountain Gym. Fire Mountain Gems. Yeah, I ordered these from them. They have them. And then what I do is I just... I'm going to glue them down so they don't move while I'm just a little dot of glue. Now I don't cut my own glass away. No Make sure they're both up straight. 
suppose I could if I did stained glass. That's what most people do. Let's get down there. And then you sandwich them between your glass. And I don't know where my tape is. Hold on just a second. I thought I had it here. Hold on just a second. I gotta go get it. I'm back. Here it is. It's foil tape. Got it at Hobby Lobby a while back. Now what I did is I just cut the corner off and feed it through the, the bag there. So you wrap your... I'm just going to cut off a piece that's long enough. Here. You have a list for what? How I turn my camera around. Flip it. I don't think I can. Unless I go out and go back, come back in. Anyway, I'm upside down too. Yeah, Fire Mountain. Uh, is it Fire Mountain Gems? I think that's what it is. Now it shows on my YouTube. I have it up on my phone here and it shows it right side up. It does show it back where the words are backwards though. I must have the wrong camera on. Anyway, um, I'll fix that. Not right now. Next, next video. Anyway, you hold them together, and you peel back the, the backing on the tape. I don't do the whole thing yet. I just lay it down. Let's make sure they're the right way. And then you kind of put them in the center of your tape so it comes up on both sides. Hold them together. You roll that. Yeah, we're in the center. And we're just going to peel back a little at a time and keep going. And we're just rolling it along that tape. Anybody, who else is here? I see a couple just rolling along that tape until you come to the other end where it started. And then you don't want to overlap if you can help it. You just want to cut like right where it meets. You just want to cut there. Right there where it meets. Let's see. And then you'll burnish it down. What I do is I take my bone folder and I just go around the, the edge here. My fingernail. And you just burnish it down and then on the sides you will just push them down, go around as you go, push them down like that, make sure it stays together good. Let you to see what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just pushing them down 
And on this side, do the same thing. And then I will lay it down. Let's get rid of that. Rid of them. Take my bone folder and just burnish those down with my bone folder. So when it's done, it's nice and tight and my tape is down. Yeah, I'm watching on my phone. Why? Well, I'm watching on my uh, uh, laptop. My laptop is, is actually streaming it. But I'm watching the replay or the chat on my phone. So I just burnished them down real good. Oh, just you, huh? I don't have a lot of followers. But someone asked if I would do this video and show them how I make them. So, so now you're going to have, let me go around the edge here real good. Yeah. You're going to have a piece that looks like this. It's got the copper foil tape all around it. It's burnished down real good. So, and I'll take paper towel and wipe it off. And then, before you solder, you have to use flux. So, I need a um, clip here to hold it. I probably shouldn't use that one. Um, I really don't. I'm going to use my pliers. My other little pliers, these. To hold it. Because they have rubber handles. So, and then you'll want to take some flux, which is, I use liquid flux. Stained glass flux. All purpose. It's water based. And your solder will not work attach if you don't put flux on it. So what you want to do is you want to put flux, swipe flux around it, front, the back, edge, and the side, like that. And then you're going to take your, your soldering iron. And you're going to take, tip it, or put the tip up to the soldering to melt it. So you're going to get a little uh, a blob of soldering on there. And then you're just going to tip, attach it to your, see how that turns silver? I just ran it around. You really can't tell because I just can't show you. Let's see. There we go. See how the solder's on there? Turned silver, it's not copper anymore. And then I just, what I do is I just get another Mount another blob on there. 
and go around the side. Yes, it smokes. Now, I'm going to turn it over and do the other side. Rosie, hi Rosie, how you doing? Where we put flux, liquid flux, we can add our solder. So, there we go on that side. If you can see it. Yeah. Then there's this side. And so backwards. So then it's pretty hot right now. And because I did the sides, I'm going to go ahead and smooth that out. That's smooth again. So I'm going to lay it down and then we're going to, and it does get hot, so be careful if you're going to do this. So now we need to put some liquid flux on the rest of it. Make sure we get it all covered. Oops. And I think we'll do the sides first, see how it works, see if maybe that works out better. I haven't done this in a week or two, so bear with me. Okay, it's sizzling, so there's that. Let's do that side. And we'll just do this side. And since this, I'll just see how it wants to run because it's round. Drives me crazy. I don't need a big blob of it, like right there. And let it drip off. Okay, so now it's soldered. Yep, now it's soldered. I'll let it cool off for a minute because it's super hot. Hi, Rosie, how you doing? Yeah, I have uh, a bunch of them in my, I have some of them in my shop right now, my Etsy shop. But these are ones I've done. This one I used the copper patina on. Um, just use this after you solder, after it cools down stuff. Now we need a, get my um, jump rings. We need a jump ring to add to this so we can hang it and we're going to use those so we're going to make sure the jump ring is closed and then what I'm going to do 
it's cooled off now so I don't see any missing spots or anything and it feels pretty smooth there's no big blobs or anything there is some on the glass right there though Let's see how we do see that on the glass there's a piece come on camera come on worked just fine a little bit ago there's a blob right here on the glass I'm gonna see if I can melt that off I think because I got some flux on there no damaging the glass oh yeah there it goes there it goes Yeah, okay, so we fixed that. So what I'm gonna need to do is take, I take two of these little clips and I turn it so it's right side up. So when you're gonna hang it, it's right side up. I'll put one over here, one over here, and let's take the magnet off of there. And I will have it hold them like this so it's straight up and they will just sit there then I will take the jump ring and the pliers and hold it whoops I don't know if you can see this just lay it on there or, you know hold it on there in the middle take a blob of oops wait 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 forgot you got a flux flux and flux this see this is what I forget flux the jump ring and flux where you're going to add the then we're just going to take a piece of solder hold that on there whoops hold on Stick the solder right in the hole. Keep hold of it till it cools off. And there you go. And you will have your jump ring on there to hang it with. I don't like, there's a little, and you can touch it up if you don't like it but there's your jump ring so you can make it into a charm or a necklace or whatever you want to do with it so that's that one that's a tiny round one and that's a postage a little postage I, it is backwards so for you guys sucks anyway and then I have bigger ones I have these I punched out let's get rid of these and they fit oops behind this size of glass so I wanted to do a couple of those so I'm going to do a purple one on one side and a red one on the other. So I will just take a tiny bit of glue stick and glue them together. Right side, make sure they're both right side up. Okay. Make sure I clean off my glass. Hi, Barbara. How are you tonight? I'm 
I'm going to clean my glass off so there's no fingerprints or anything on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Getting dry here. I'm going to have to get a drink in a minute. So I seen where Mary was having a hop tonight, I think. And that Mary's, Mary Alt, 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 I don't even know how to pronounce it. And then Katie was going to come on and she canceled. Hope everything's okay. But I wanted to make some more. And then I'm going to do one next. You'll have to stick around for the next one. Let's see. Get these back together. And then we take the glass and sandwich them so they're like that. And then we take our tape. And pull out a piece that I think is going to work. Fit around it. So just cut it off. Copper tape. Lay it out. Start it. Let's do this big one. You take the sandwich here. You're going to center it up on the tape, which is a little harder than it looks. Where you got an even amount on both sides. And then you're just going to pull your tape as you go and roll it. Make sure you stay straight. So everybody made it through the week, huh? Been a crazy week. Had an asthma. I was going to do this the other night, but had a bad asthma day. Okay, you want to just put enough on there to meet the two edges up and then trim it off. No, I haven't tried stained glass. <laughs> um... Yeah, Katie, I, I was wondering about her, too. I was hoping everything was okay. But you just want to trim it where it's even with the other piece. You don't want them overlapping the, if you can help it. Or not try not to overlap them. Okay. Get rid of that. And then you'll just make sure they meet up evenly. I haven't tried stained glass. Now, I think if I got into it, I would just get into it. I have enough stuff to do. Um, but I do love stained glass. Now, see right here where it doesn't look like it's even? doesn't look like I think I went a little over, so I'm just going to pull it off and reposition it. Sure, there's a little more tape on that side. And make sure they meet up. There we go. There we go. Okay, so still looks like I don't have enough on that side. My goodness, Lisa. There we go. Now, you see, don't have this much trouble. Okay, so then we want to burnish that down. We just want to roll it. Okay, so you're going to take one side. 
Oh yeah, Barbara, do you do stained glass? Um, just lay those down with your thumb or your fingers. Just push it down in there. Since it's round, it's going to have those little folds. You just do the best you can. Pushing them down. And then, what I'm going to do is go around and burnish the edges. Just using my bone folder to make sure it's nice and smooth. Let's see, just burnished it down and then I'll lay it down. And I will take my bone folder and push from the outside in to make sure it's burnished down. And then you do the other side. Just make sure this is down good. And you want to make sure your edges are around your glass. Are down. Hi Penny, how you doing? We're just soldering some charms, soldering. I keep saying soldering. My husband makes fun of me for saying it, putting the L in there. So we're just burnishing this edge down. And that's another reason. Oh, see, now I just ripped a piece. Oh, crap. This does happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this tape back off and get another piece and start over again. Because it does happen. I've had it happen a couple times. And believe me, when you burnish this down, it's down. It's hard to get off. Come on. Sorry about that, you guys. But I suppose it's a good thing to show you the mistakes, too. Come on, tape. Okay, so we've got it started here. Oh my God, who was in the hospital, Barbara? Sorry to hear that. Nothing serious, I hope. I mean, Did they, they probably wouldn't let you in, come see them neither, would they? I don't want anybody in hospitals anymore, I guess. As bad as this COVID is. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, hope he's doing well. Okay, so we got the tape off. I'll say keep him in my prayers. 
see rusting well. I hope so. So let's cut off another piece. Try this again. Maybe we'll do it better this time. Some fell on the floor. Okay. So there's our piece. Let's start this again. This time I won't push so hard on. Okay, so hold it there. Started it there, but it looks too close. So I'm just going to roll it. I am just going to roll it around, trying to keep it even. Sometimes it's hard to keep it even. He is doing great. Yes, he is right. He is doing better than I expected. Well, though, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. Okay, so we met, come up here, we met the edge here. Let's go ahead and cut it off. Okay. I'm going to pull this back a little. Move it over a little. Readjust. Yeah. But once you readjust it, you got to make sure you smooth it down or it won't. Yeah, that's a little better. This side needs some more. It's hard getting it in that center of that skinny little piece of tape. So, that's down. So what I'm going to do is just burnish the edge again. It won't be so rough this time. Push down the sides. Make sure both sides are pushed down. See, like right there, it's wanting to fold over. There we go. Then I'm just going to lightly go over the top, make sure they're pushed in. And then I'll burnish after I make sure all pushed in. Let's do the other side. There we go. Now, rub down a little bit harder make sure you get as many wrinkles as you can out of there started as colon from three years ago oh wow and then it went to his lungs huh That's why they say have colonoscopies, catch it early. Yep, but they're no fun. But safe, better safe than sorry. Or not better safe than sorry, but better to check. May catch it early. It's like getting mammograms and pap smears. 
enjoy them so much. But it's a necessary thing. My sister had breast cancer. But hers, they got, got hers real early. So... They removed it, and she hasn't had no problem since. So, thank God. So now they say, since my sister had it, that I should be checked every year, a mammogram every year, to make sure, because it's family. But her doctor told her hers was estrogen-fed. Fed. Yes, she was very blessed. I agree. She was lucky. Uh, they told her that hers was estrogen fed, which was because she was on birth control for so many years. That's what they thought. So, I don't know. They're still telling me that I need to get checked every year because of that. Because of her. So... I don't know. I do it. Insurance covers it, so I do it. Thank God I have insurance. God, I can afford it. They got his early as well. That's why I told him. He waited till he was 52. Well, I think I waited till I was late in my late fifties before I got a colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe this off. Get our pliers. Hold it with the pliers. Take our liquid solder. Come on. Maybe I want to use the others. Take our liquid solder because it keeps moving with this pair. Let's see if this works better. Yes, it does. And put our liquid solder around all the edges on all the tape. sure you get it good okay so then we're going to take our solder here Let's clean this off a little we're going to do the inside edges first come on so there's that we're going to turn it over Smooth it out a little. If you can see it. Then we'll do the outside edge. Where you can see where it came over the edge there. So we'll start here. See it wants to bubble up. Round ones are hard to do. Because it wants to bubble. So there's that. Looks pretty good. So we're going to let it cool off for a second. Because I don't want to touch it with my hand. But you can see. Where it's soldered at. And then we'll lay it down, turn it around. It's kind of toasty warm. Hold it with the pliers, take the flux, make sure we wipe it. And then fix 
finish off this side. Finish off this side. And then we will do the edge, the rest of the edge. Oh, his mother had colon cancer. Finish off the edge. See where it bubbled there? Rolled. See if we can smooth it out a little. What is it? Genetic? Is cancer genetic? I mean, is that why they say cancer is hereditary? It's in the genes. To get checks online. Your aunt died of colon cancer. Mother had two uncles. What is diet? Whatever. Okay, so that one's done. And then we'll let it cool off for a second and we will get a don't know what I did with them oh dropped them on the floor oh glad they weren't opened we'll get a jump ring make sure it's closed Yes, dairy. Okay, so we have to, well, I gotta get my little clips here. So our clips are gonna hold our charm. And it's straight up so I can put the um, jump ring on the top. And then I wanna I actually want to well or solder it on where the split is in the jump ring. I want that to be in the solder. So I will hold it on there after I flux and flux this. I will just kind of balance it on there, the top edge, get a little solder. Stick it through the hole and hold it for a second. And there we go. We got our jump ring on there. And that's it. So if I want to take what I do with the other little one I made. There it is. So if I want to take this one and attach it to this one, which I think I will, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to solder another jump ring on the bottom opposite end of the other one, the one on the top. So then I'm going to get another jump ring. This one so I can attach them. And I want to find where they're split. Get a hold of it. Flux it. Flux the jump ring. Get some more solder. Hold this where I want it. Thank you very much. There we go. OK, 
Okay, hold it for a second, let it cool off so your jump ring stays on there. And there you go. Got a big bubble here, so I'm going to spread it out. Okay, so now I can take that out of them. Good night, Christina. Good night. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm going to take this jump ring. Going to split it. Add it to the bottom of this one and then add this one, the smaller one. So now when I put it back together. I have a charm, two charms connected, or I can use them separately and I have to dangle off of this one. But right now, it's a charm. Is that cool? And then what I wanted to do next was do one more before I go tonight and I wanted to do a Alice in Wonderland because I'm going to do a bunch of them because I, I got some Alice in Wonderland journals I'm going to make but I have these little um, printables I can't remember where I got them uh, but you can print them out online. I got them at one of the shops. I can't remember. But there's Alice when she's got her long neck. I'm going to take that one. And then I'm going to take Alice here. And I'm going to put them back to back. Maybe after I see what size I want to make it. So I think I'm going to use this, this one here. Which is a one... A one by two inch glass slide. So I'm going to clean them off. There's one. And there's two. So now I'll dry them. You just don't want to make sure there's a bunch of fingerprints on them any oil or anything. So what we want to do is put them back to back and see how well they fit in this one by two inch slide. I think I'm going to need a piece of black paper between them. Yeah, because they're not quite so what I'll do is I'll take this black here, take my pen, and draw around it, cut me out this little black piece of paper here. edge off and let's see how well that works so we got them together I will glue them down for I just want to see if it's big enough yeah that's big enough so I will glue them together real quick
ink on her. Center it up. Yeah, so she's down. Some ink on her, or glue on her. Center that one up. Okay, so now they're glued together so they're not going to come apart, so I don't have to worry about that. I do want to get this glue off my fingers. And then we're going to take the slides and sandwich our little pictures in between. So we will have some Alice charms to hang on our journal. And I can do, I got a bunch of round ones and bigger ones and smaller ones. And then we're going to get our foil tape. We're going to take off enough. To go around Alice here, just like we did on the round ones. I'm going to cut a straight edge, peel the tape backing off. And then What I do is I start on the end, the bottom end, hold the sandwich there, and then I'll start and leave some of it come up the side because that's where it's going to end. Make sure I try to get it even, and I've just pushed down, pull back some more of the backing, and just flip it over and make sure it stays even. And then just keep flipping as you go around. And then the last edge, you want to go down until you get to where you're meeting up. And trim it off. It's still overlapping a little too much. So I'm just going to trim off a little bit more. And then you're going to burnish the edges. And then on the on the square ones, what you do is you push in on both sides. Just push in with both fingers. So you're pushing down both sides. And then both ends, don't do the corners yet. Just push in on both sides. And then the corners, you're, you're going to want to take and meet your fingernails. So it's a little tip there. You're going to do that on all the corners. So they meet like that. See how short of an edge. And then you're going to go on the other side. Do the same thing. So you've got a little tip. A little, I don't know if you can see it. A little tip stip it, sticking up there. Uh, it's not going to focus. There it is. You're going to have a little tip right there. Yeah, you can see 
see it sticking up there. So what I do, well, what they suggest you do, which is what I do, is I take my little scissors here and just nip off that tip. And then take your bone folder and push down those corners. We don't have so much excess tape. You don't have a big blob there. And then burnish the edges, just like you did on the circle. And this one is just so much easier to solder. The square or the rectangular ones, round ones are a little bit harder to solder, I think, because it wants to roll around the edge of the charm. Okay, let's burnish this side. Then when I'm done here, I will show you, before I go, show you how to patina, how it works. Okay, so she's ready. She's beautiful. Look at her. Can you see her? She's not going to focus. And then the other side. So I'm going to take my pliers, hold the charm, take my flux, do all but one side, flux all but one, the side where you're holding it. And we'll take our solder. We will do Thanks, Rosie. This side here. And we will do this side. Clean it off a little. And we will do the end. And then we'll turn it over and do the other side. This end. This end. And this end side. See, the solder is just going to go where your tape is, where you put flux. So let's do this end. And let's smooth it out a little. Okay, so we got all four, all three of those sides done. So 
So we'll lay it down, let it cool off for a second. And we'll pick it up to the last side. Oops, gotta flux it. Keep wanting to not flux. Got to flux. Okay. Almost stuck my soldering iron in the flux. We're gonna do this. That would be bad. And then last but not least. Okay. Soldered that. So there's our soldered piece, and it's pretty warm. And we're going to take a jump ring. Do we want to put one on the bottom? Yes. Put one on the top and one on the bottom so I can add a charm, so I can add some dangles. So we will take our little clips here. Hold it up. Take our pliers. Find our split and our jump ring. Hold it so the split is going to be soldered. Flux them. Press that on there. Just rest it in the center. Got some solder in here that dropped off. Put some solder on there. There you go. Now, this one looks a little off-centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hold on to the, you can fix it, hold on to the jump ring. Warm it up, move it over just a hair. Let it cool, hold it. Now it's centered and the jump ring is attached. So then I'm gonna move it down this way. Sit at that there, oops. Get the other jump ring. Find the split. Flux. Okay. Get some, get some solder on there. Hold it there. And attach it. Just touch it. And your jump ring is attached. So now we have a, we can attach it up here. And then we can attach a charm, a dangle from the bottom. So there we go. There's that one. Come on, focus. Stupid camera. There she is. And then there's the other one. There's Alice. <laughs> That's so cute. That's so easy. Okay, it's so much easier now that I've learned how to do it. I had to watch a couple videos. Now, I wanted to show you how this, hold on just a second, I gotta get my black 
Um, and that was copper. I do have a black one. I think it's over here. You might not know where I put it. I'm back. Okay, this is black. I'll show you how this works. It's called Novacan Black Patina for Solder Lead. So what you do, you're supposed to wear a mask with this, so I'm going to put on my little mask. Should have been wearing it all this time. Since I do have asthma. Okay, so I'm going to pour just a little bit out in there. Oh. And this is the black. And then we're going to take a q tip here and see where this is silver. Let me. Burnish that edge down a little. Okay. Yeah, much smoother. Watch this, guys. If you can see it. But you put this patina on your... Your solder. Supposed to wear gloves too. And I don't have any on. Anyway, you put this patina on there. Just rub it on. Guys, turned it black. Is that not cool? And it's clear liquid. So cool. See, it turned to black. So I'm going to sit here and make me some more Alice in Wonderland charms and some more postage ones. Get a pair of gloves on when I do this because I will do the other one too. Yeah, look at that just instantly. Turns it black. See that? It's awesome. All that silver is black now. Compared to the other one. I'm going to get it off my hands. So that's my tutorial on how to solder on how to solder charms so I'm gonna make a bunch of Alice ones and so a lot of postage ones so I got a lot of postage stamps let's see I've got some postage stamps I'm gonna use and then I have all of these here I'm gonna use 
on with these. And then I have a whole slew of Alice I'm going to make. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. It helps. And if you know anybody, uh, send them over. I could use some more subbies. Thank you. Uh, Rosie, so awesome. Nice charms. Lisa, good night, ladies. Thank you, Lisa, for a great one. Have a wonderful weekend. You too. You have a wonderful weekend. I hope everyone has a blessed weekend. And Barbara, I will keep your husband in my prayers. Is it Barbara or Kilburn or Kilburns? I have a terrible memory. Barbara, I will keep your husband in my prayers and hope he gets heals quickly. Uh, thanks for coming by. I do appreciate it. Bye-bye. Talk to you later.